YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we've got another tiny little uh, FlySky receiver and ESC all in one for the G7P. This time it's the HW709. Um, so this is a smaller ESC for the smaller size motors. So kind of motor that you'd run in the SCX24, that kind of style. Quite lightweight, it's got an external power plug, uh, power switch, sorry, and you can swap these connectors out to whatever you like for the motor and the power supply. It'll run 5 to 7 um, cell NIM or 2S LiPo, and it's got a 1 amp 6 volt BEC. It does take a standard size servo plug, and with a full 1 amp and only one channel to run for steering. It's got plenty of uh, plenty of power to run whatever servo you're going to want to run in that scale vehicle. So let's get you in for a closer look and I'll show you how to set this one up. Right, so what you're going to want to do first off, go to your model select, select a spare model channel. Then you're going to want to name it, so we'll just call this a 709 and then we know what it is. So once we've got that saved, we can back out. What we're going to want to do now is go to our RX menu. Then we're going to have to change this to two-way. Then RX type. Going to change that to ESC and receiver. I'm going to leave this one set on analog because we know it will work that way with whatever servo we plug into it. And speed and everything's not that important on there. Uh, on this sort of setup then you're going to want to go into bind if we power it on see the green lights flashing you'll get the bind notification then we've got a servo and if I can get it in shot so we've got forward brake and reverse So if we then come out of there, go down to a ZSC setup. So we've got it set for forward brake reverse. If you wanted it in a crawler, you might want to just forward and reverse. So then you've just got forward, instant reverse. Forward brake reverse will give you forward brake and then reverse. So let's set it for a crawler. Let's see what this does. It does feel like that's functioning as a drag brake. As soon as we let go of controller, it stops. Set it to zero. So basically, I'm guessing that's brake force, but you can set it up to uh, give you a sort of drag brake. So there you have it. We've got a steering. So again, same as all the other ones. You can go in, set your endpoints for your steering. And then you can reverse your channels. So it's going to be really hard to see, but I'm trying to see if that reverses the motor. So yeah, by reversing the throttle, it does reverse the motor. Thought it would, but I thought I'd uh, check that first. You've also got your sub trims, your jaw rates that you can use, throttle curve, which could be useful on a crawler depending on what uh, KV motor you're running. Your auxiliary channels, no point setting any of them because you've only got two channels on this. But yeah, quite a nice little ESC and receiver all in one. Nice that it'll run 2S and you can set it to LiPo or NIM mode. 
But let's wrap this one up. So there we have it, really convenient. Little micro receiver and ESC all in one. Plenty of power to run the little crawler motors. And it's quite nice that you can control drag brake and everything off the transmitter rather than have to separately connect to the ESC. It's one big advantage of these units all being built in one. You've at least got some control and functionality of the ESC from the transmitter itself. But hopefully you find that useful or entertaining or a bit of both. But uh, don't forget to share to friends and family, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And uh, catch you guys again in the next one. Oh, <laughs>